On July 1, 1976, a small 5,000 square foot gambling hall opened on West Sahara Avenue near the popular Circus Circus Hotel and Casino. This casino was known as simply The Casino. It was the original dream of Frank Fertitta Jr., an entrepreneur who was previously the general manager at the Fremont Hotel and Casino in downtown Las Vegas, along with two other partners. The casino would slowly become a hangout for many workers of the Las Vegas Strip, as it was mainly quiet when compared to the noisiness of the large resorts on the boulevard. A year later in 1977, Fertitta had an idea to add bingo into the mix, along with heavily advertising the place, later renaming the casino to Bingo Palace. Bingo Palace became an instant hit. Its advertising, along with the use of local friendly giveaways, a cheap buffet, and its iconic bingo machines made the casino a popular attraction towards the locals of Las Vegas. Fertitta would decide to expand the property again, this time with a major renovation that would completely change to what we know now today. A huge facade was given to the outside of the casino, giving it a large railroad theme. Along with that, Fertitta wanted to rename the property once again. In 1983, a naming contest was held. The winner was Claire Harvis, who came up with dropping the bingo but keeping the palace. As of 1984, it was now known as Palace Station. A grand opening took place on April 6th with the opening of a historic Inyo locomotive along with Nevada governor at the time, Richard Bryan. Coming along with the railroad theme came a large neon sign that was 126 feet wide and could be seen when riding along the I-95 highway. Another expansion took place in 1985 with the purchase of the 460 room Mini Price Motor Inn, a motel that originally opened in the early 1970s. There, Palace Station would become both a hotel and a casino. Another expansion took place in 1990 with the addition of a new 21-story, 563-room hotel tower made to resemble a large palace. Despite all the goodness that Palace Station was receiving, there of course had to be some bad stuff. On July 20th, 1998, after a vicious storm flooded part of Las Vegas, a lightning strike pounded on the 21st floor of Palace Station's hotel tower, starting a fire that would injure four people. Luckily, no one died. If that wasn't bad enough, at the same time the fire happened, the extreme amount of rain poured onto the roof of Palace Station's casino floor made the roof collapse, causing a significant amount of damage to the property. Oh yeah, and let's not forget the most infamous incident that has ever happened inside Palace Station, starring O.J. Simpson himself. Simpson, along with a group of men led by him, entered one of Palace Station's original hotel rooms and allegedly stole a huge amount of sports memorabilia owned by Bruce Fromong, who was a dealer of the memorabilia itself. Three days later, he was arrested on the spot without bail and was later found guilty in 2008. Palace Station would undergo renovation in 2007, changing all of the hotel rooms for a more modern look. That was, however, the last renovation that would take place in the property for a pretty long time. Because of that, the property would slowly become a bit run down and outdated. Even by the early 2010s, it would become overshadowed by much nicer station casinos, especially ones like Sunset Station, Red Rock Resort, and Green Valley Ranch. But that was until 2016, when station casinos had officially announced that the property would be going through one of the biggest renovations and expansions it had ever been through, mainly to modernize the hotel and casino. Starting the renovation would be the dismantling of its iconic neon marquee, which had been in place ever since opening. In fact, the entire railroad theme would be removed, with some of the signage and train motif being donated to the Neon Museum. The original hotel rooms that once belonged to the Mini Price Motor Inn were demolished. There was also a planned hotel tower that would come to fruition, but it never happened. By the time the $192 million renovation was finished in mid-2018, an expanded casino, renovated hotel rooms and sports book, new restaurants, a movie theater, a new pool, and even a much better buffet was implemented inside the property. This was a huge hit for Palace Station, as much more people began coming inside the casino. This was also paired with the fact that it began catering to Chinese tourists, as it was located near Las Vegas' Chinatown. Palace Station was the beginning of the Fertitta family's long journey through a billion dollar hotel and casino company. This wonderful place remains as one of the most iconic local hotel and casinos in all of Las Vegas, bringing in the rise of many other local casinos throughout the valley. Even to this day, Station Casino still manages to be one of the most trusted casino companies, caring way more towards Las Vegas' locals than any other company. 
The Bingo Palace Casino announces the greatest food offer in Las Vegas. We call it the Breakfast Supreme, and it's only 49 cents. It includes two eggs, bacon or sausage, potatoes, toast and jelly, and it's served 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. every day. Served 24 hours is the Tasty Shrimp Cocktail, only 90 cents, or a delicious beer-steamed hot dog from the bar, also 90 cents. Enjoy good eating and good food anytime at the Bingo Palace Casino.